Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll learn the concept related to emulator 8086, which is EMU 8086, and how to use this EMU 8086 software, uh, uh, and how to uh, run different different programs on this emulator software. Now, the basically, emulator is a simulation of the processor, which means that the actual system hardware is never touched directly by the user. Now, what does it mean if we want to perform some operations on 8086 microprocessor? Then the very first thing is we have to uh, put our program or the code inside microprocessor's memory, uh, inside uh, memory, and then microprocessor has to access that uh, program, and then it will it will show output. Instead of that, using this software, we can simulate the microprocessor. Now, what does it mean? We can put program inside this software and we can check content of the registers which we require. Now, this uh, the program is uh, very suitable for the educational purposes. Obviously, when when uh, when students learn uh, emulator 886 microprocessor, then uh, instead of putting all the code inside hardware, actual hardware or actual 886 microprocessor, we can we can try different different programs on this software so that uh, it will it will uh, consume less time to design any system. And uh, the most important thing is. All the processors registers, such as accumulator A X B X C X D X registers, uh, are also visible to the users during execution of the program or after execution of the program. It means we can analyze our program very effectively when we execute uh, any uh, assembly language program in uh, emulator 86 microprocessor. Now the next thing is. Since all the Intel's next generation processors, including Pentium 4, support the machine code of the 886, this program is indeed very valuable as an educational tool. Now, this is very very important point. The all machine code of 886, we 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 normally say, it 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 is also supported by the Intel's next generation processors. So basically, first uh, like we can say, 886 uh, microprocessor was there. Then Pentium 1 was designed. Then Pentium 2. Then Pentium 3. Then Pentium 4. Then uh, Intel i series, i3, i5, i7, or Intel Core Group dual processor. Now, all these advanced, or we can say. Next generation processors also support the code which was supported by 886 microprocessor. So this is very important. By using this tool, we can also analyze some of the Pentium processors functionality also, uh, and uh, that's why it is very very important tool for the education. Okay. Now we'll we'll directly go to the software. So we're having this EMU 886 software. Okay. Now, what we have to do? First, we have to install this EMU 886 software. Now, you can you can just Google it. Uh, you will get a link um, um, uh, for this. Uh, uh, there are various uh, um, uh, various third-party uh, websites are available. So they have they are having the, the, this uh, set of file of this software. You can download and you can install it. After installing, uh, whenever you click on this software, you will get this window. Okay. So just simply click No uh, New. And uh, then select first option dot com, uh, com template. If you are dealing with uh, exe executable or binary or boot file, then accordingly uh, these uh, options will be selected. But as of now, if we, we we want to test some simple programs like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division using uh, uh, assembly language, then we will go with the first option that com template. Okay. Then click on OK. Okay. Now here we'll, we'll add our code. So whatever uh, operations or whatever uh, program we want to test, we can add at this. Uh, editor. This is basically editor. Okay, so we'll erase all the content inside this editor. Now, uh, in this section, uh, we'll we'll try simple addition of two uh, 16-bit uh, hexadecimal number, and we'll observe uh, their output in the AX register. Obviously, whenever we perform addition of two um, numbers using assembly language program in 886 microprocessor, result by default stored in inside AX register only. Okay, so I will write program. So first, I will write uh, I will store simple number which is 1111 in hexadecimal uh, number. Now. In hexadecimal, if we uh, if we write this number in binary format, then this one will be triple times zero and one. 
So next one will be triple time zero. Next one will be triple time zero. Okay. So this is by binary format of this 16-bit uh, number, which is uh, four time one H. Okay. Now uh, the next number I am going to add will be same. So whenever we perform addition of these two numbers, our result will be two two. 22h okay and that we are going to test whether we are going getting that result or not okay so next number i am going to store inside bx register bx is also 16 bit register so 1111h okay and then i will write instruction at ax comma bx okay now uh, this instruction will put 1111H into AX register. This instruction will put 1111H, 1111H uh, hex number into BX register, and this instruction will add AX content of AX register and BX register, and result will be stored inside AX register. And then at the end, we'll write end, which is assembler directory, which will tell uh, our software that this is end of our program. Okay. Now after writing this, we we can save it or we can directly emulate our program. So I'll click on emulate. Okay. Now after this, we will we'll see two windows. Okay. One one will show original source code uh, with a yellow line. Yellow line represent that uh, whenever I click single step, this line will be executed. Whenever I click on run, then all program will be executed in one go. If you want to check your program in step wise, like uh, first after executing of the say, first line, what will happen? After executing of the second line, what will happen? And in this section, you're having all the register like AX, BX, then CX, BX, CS, instruction pointer, SS, stack pointer, and all these three registers are there. Now, initially, there is 00, zero inside AX and BX register. So, whenever I execute program, then inside AX, whenever I execute this first instruction, your first content of AX will be loaded into the AX register. Now, whenever I click on single step, okay, so we'll go with the single step. So I click single step. Okay. Now the first line is executed. Now you can sh you can see the yellow line represent that after this, uh, whenever you click on single step, then this particular instruction will be executed. Okay. Now whenever we execute this instruction, as I I stated that 1111H will be loaded into the AX register. Now inside this register section, you can check. 1111 is loaded inside the X register. Now, in BX register, there is still 000. So, whenever I click on second, then this instruction will be executed. Only this instruction will be executed. Okay. Okay. So, AX and BX both are having 111111. Okay. Now, whenever I click next single step, then addition of these two numbers will be executed and result you will get inside AX register. So, content of AX register will change. BX will be Will, will will not change okay so single step yes so this is the result of addition of two numbers okay so if you double click on this then you will get in hexadecimal this is in binary and this is in octal so you can check your uh, register content you can also check other register like bx you are having 1111 and similarly you can use the software now next option we will see uh, run if i click on run then it will take some time and after a certain position, it will it will say halt. Halt instruction will be executed. Okay. Okay. So emulator is halted and okay. You can check this. Okay. So I will I will again run this uh, without single step. I will I will execute it in one go. So run and you will see the result over here. Okay. Now whenever uh, execution of the program, whenever this program is executing. At that time, if you want to observe this program in step by then there is a step delay mentioned. So you can increase this delay. As I have increased this delay, so that's why every step was uh, executing slowly. So next time I will I will reduce this delay. So step size will be zero. Okay, and I will say run. So in one go, it will execute your program and will get result into this. Okay. Now similarly, you can try. Uh, different programs and you can test uh, different outputs okay here we are having some virtual devices also we are having leds printers robot and all these things so we can let's take example led we can if you really want to print something then we can use this led okay so we are having different different options you can you can check it okay so thank you for watching